Hi everyone, today we'll be going through a few polls that have just come out from uh, the 538 website. So we have three polls we're going to be going over today. An Emerson College poll, a uh, CNN SSRS poll, and a morning consult poll. So uh, all of these three polls, two of them show good uh, a good picture for Joe Biden, the other showing a good picture for Bernie Sanders, those two being the two front runners, Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders at this point in time. So as you can see, we can see in the CNN SSRS poll, uh, right now, former Vice President Joe Biden at 28%, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders at 20%, California Senator Kamala Harris at 12%, Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke at 11%, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren at 6%, John Kerry at 4%, Booker at 3 Klobuchar at 3 Julian Castro at 1%, Kirsten, uh, I think they may have misspelled her name there. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, Gillibrand at one, Jay Inslee at one, Pete Buttigieg at one, John Hickenlooper at one. I think all these people have registered 0%. Uh, I'm not too sure why. Um, but Tulsi Gabbard, John Delaney, Terry McConnell, McAuliffe and Steve Bullock all not registering at 1%. Uh, so overall, this paints a bright picture for Vice President Joe Biden. We could see he was leading in a lot of these early polls, but then Bernie Sanders, once he announced, started to close in. But now it seems Joe Biden is taking that position once again, with Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders being the same length ahead uh, of Kamala Harris as he is behind Joe Biden. So that's also something to note. It's interesting how John Kerry ranks here. I would be surprised somewhat if he ran for president, but then again, all of these individuals have announced, except for the following individuals, John Kerry and Joe Biden, and um, in addition to both of those individuals, uh, we can also see Terry McAuliffe has not announced his intention to run. Steve Bullock has not announced. And then all of these individuals have said that they are going to not run for president. So uh, this is very interesting just because, again, Joe Biden seems to be breaking away from the pack a bit more, along with Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. But uh, it's not all... It's not all... Uh, bad news uh, for Vermont Senator, for the Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, because he's actually tied in this Emerson poll with the Vice President Joe Biden in this Emerson College poll, with them both at 26%, Kamala Harris way down at 12%, Beto O'Rourke at 11 Elizabeth Warren at 8 Pete Buttigieg at 3 Booker at 3 Castro at th 1 Yang at 1 it's interesting how Andrew Yang ranks higher than Kirsten Gillibrand. Kirsten Gillibrand was considered probably one of, in the top 10 of people who might uh, be the Democratic nominee. It doesn't seem like that's going to happen with Andrew Yang actually polling better than Kirsten Gillibrand. So that's also pretty interesting. We're not going to go over the general election today, but we will do in another uh, video but Emerson we've done, CNN we've done. Now, this morning consult poll, um, if you can see here. So, uh, this surprised me. I don't know why, but Joe Biden up six. Very impressive stuff there from the vice president that he's up by six percentage points. That's definitely something to note that Vice President Joe Biden is on his way in these early primary states. This is a great sign for the Vice President leading Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders by double digits there. And then the Vermont Senator, uh, there is some good news here for Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders because he's leading Kamala Harris and Elizabeth Warren by even bigger margins. If we take a look at uh, Cory Booker, he's actually performing better than I expected. Uh, he's actually polling better than Beto O'Rourke, so that's pretty interesting. Amy Klobuchar, she's at 1%. That's not great news for this candidate. 
um, for for Amy Klobuchar, she was considered a bit like Joe Biden, the moderate alternative in this primary. Um, as for the favorabilities of these candidates, there has recently been an argument saying, oh, you know, um, Vice President Joe Biden, he is now the most popular politician in the United States, but that might not, um, but that might not actually be the case because because jo every time someone leaves office, their favorabilities uh, increase by a mile. And Bernie Sanders is currently in office. He's doing his these interviews. He's in the political arena, and he's still in the hunt for that favorability. Um, we can also see people like Beto O'Rourke not performing the best there. Then the rest of these candidates receiving minimal, minimal favorability. Um, but uh, people like uh, former rep uh, Maryland rep representative. John Delaney, definitely something to note that he only has only has fifty five percent name ID, even though he's been out campaigning for a long time. Uh, ideology, ideology. Uh, this comes as n at no surprise. Looking at the very liberal voters, we can see Bernie Sanders outperforming everyone with these uh, up until the slightly liberal. Um, this is this is pretty interesting because actually Kamala Harris and Beto O'Rourke outperformed Bernie Sanders with those liberal voters, which is very interesting. GOP primary support for Trump, no surprise there. And then that's pretty much it. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Comment down your suggestions below and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.